ready guys to start out here just a little explanation this thing here is the one i want to load it's 1.6 ounces of babbitt basically what it is is i don't know if anybody that cast or anything will know what i'm talking about but whenever you melt your lead i always take a little beeswax you can use sawdust there's a bunch of different methods for it anyways but and throw it on top of the molten lead but once it stops smoking and stuff it pulls all the impurities the top and you dross it off which is basically a fancy word for scrape the crap off the top of the lead until it's shiny well the majority of the stuff that comes out is babbit there might be a little tin and a little bit of like alimony or something not alimony damn it this ain't a divorce. <laughs> antimony antimony we're just gonna leave that in there this ain't a divorce antimony mixed in with it you know it's not pure babbit by no means i didn't go out and buy like bearing material or something but we're gonna see how that one patterns but first he has a 18 pellet double lot single lot single lot just for a control for say we have a once fired remington three and a half inch hull and uh, Winchester Primer, 32 grains of Blue Dot TPS Wad 2 pedal, full cut, 1 quarter inch of felt, 18 pellets of 31 cal single lot, BSB buffer in total. It is a 1.97 ounce load. That's the control? Yep, control. And we'll I'm going to fire this uh, junk here. We'll do both of these at 20 yards just to give you a direct back to back comparison. We're using the Benelli Nova with a 685 extra full choke. The 835 is down right now. <laughs> but let's go to 20 and see how these do. Thanks, Unc. This is a Remington primer, not a Winchester. My bad. But still, I don't know where the Nova hits, so I'll just aim center. Seems to hit pretty well on point of aim. I think it does. Dang it. Honestly, there wasn't much recoil. Looks like a really good pattern, though. Here's the hull. I recovered it from the garden. Looks just fine. No issues at all. So we're going to see how this thing patterns. Uh, it patterned really well, I can tell you that. Yeah. That was 18 pellets of 31 cal, which is the biggest size you can fit in the TPS wad. Makes me want to wag my tail. Mail. Sorry, you'll see it here in a second. There's a mailman coming. Anyways, oh god. Okay, that is decimation. Look at that wad right there with a few around it. That's a pretty good pattern, guys. Suppose I should try to count this. That's one flyer right here. So we'll count this flyer because it's not really a flyer per se, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen by. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A 14 by eight, not counting this one. It is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by eight. All right, now let's see what trash can do. I'm not trash. I know you're not I trash. I just smell that way. You're garbage. Back here at our 20 yard marker. All what right. you got? Uh, I have a new prime, three and a half inch hole, loaded with 27 grains of long shot. The Flex Seal 12 for the FS12 wad. 1.6 ounces of Babbitt and other assorted garbage. And that's about all. 685 constriction. Extra full in this uh, Benelli Nova. I'm really interested here. This should have a little recoil too. Didn't look like it. Oh, I missed it. That's my luck. Oh, well. I missed the hole, not the pattern anymore. Yeah. I smack the crap out of the pattern board. Well, the hole is good. No tearing or nothing, so... Is that a Fioki or a Shaddai? I don't even know. That is a Shaddai. Yep. There you go. Alrighty, let's go see how this thing patterned. Bad. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy. There Maybe some... I should have patterned, patched that one. Yeah, there were some big chunks in it and also some little chunks. Well, this here is from it. Yep, that is. The little holes that ain't all the way through is from <laughs> I should have patched it. You want to throw some hole tape on them holes real quick? Yeah, let's do that. You can see it better. The big buckshot holes anyways. Well, alrighty, guys, we got them 18 buckshot pellet holes uh, covered up so we can see this a little better, but not great, but for <laughs> complete and utter trash, I mean, if you had nothing else, it would definitely uh, deter somebody. Also, this may set a world record for the widest variant in pellet size in the same round. We have roughly a, I don't know, 45 cal chunk there. Think of uh, nerds clusters. Yeah. And that's what they look like. To this. No, no, to this. 
Yep, right there. We'll like that it. one did, wasn't even big enough to make it all the way through the paper. But that one there is. We can count that one. That's maybe... A number nine pellet? Not even number that. nine. That's like a 05 pencil lead. Yeah. So quite a wide variation. But all in all, for this pattern, we have a... We'll go from this biggest chunk here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, roughly 17 or 18. There's an impact right here. Oh, crap. I ain't counting that one. I'm going to right here. 18 by... Uh, where's the last one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hey, we were shooting some flight controls earlier. <laughs> And the, the, the cylinder board choke was a 17 by 17. Well, my halfway garbage load here of Babbitt just threw down a 17 by 18, excluding these two little pinholes. <laughs> Imagine that. I don't know. That is... <laughs> I'm going to try this again. I'm, I, I might try to draw it off and like throw it into a hard pan and get like dust shot. To try be it again. fair, there was quite a few more big chunks in that, and they're not even on paper. No, they just... I feel like they probably come apart. Like it's just they had to there's no fusion there whatsoever like nah. anybody that's ever drossed lead off like as soon as you pull it out that crap basically turns the dust into a spoon whenever you get it off the top of it anyway so but we had it laying there me and ty was up on the porch cast i think we was actually casting 690 round balls that day along with a few buckshot sizes of varying degrees but that's when this idea was born is about a year and a half two year ago probably i've had that shell rolling around wanting to pattern it yeah we had to uh, put a new crimp on it because it came open from, I guess, heat. I don't know. I just, it was in the truck for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, it rode around in my truck for ever. Because it was supposed to be shot on range, and then I kept forgetting about it. <laughs> now I want to load another one. Yeah, we can do it. Only I want to try to use similar uh, nerds clustered size chunks of Babbitt. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the scientific crap I find interesting. <laughs> I like patterning stuff and the good patterns, but... At the end of the day, how many people you know is going to take a three and a half inch 12 gauge and load it with Babbitt or spent primers for say, or I can tell you exactly how many one. Oh yeah. You, you usually don't even do nothing like this. This <laughs> is all any of the really wild stuff. Like not talking about hunting loads, like Babbitt, for instance, just that's generally my, my thought process behind it. The double five twenty fives you'll all be seeing coming up conventional loaded duplex loads that pattern better than or right on par with a uh, bismuth and almost tss <laughs> yeah i mean my josh brain's is, funny josh has got some wild stuff cooked up that you wouldn't think would pattern good but it does now speaking of that double lime, lime 525 it is two lime 525s and a three and a half inch shell yes. with two pellets of 31 cal single aught stuffed in a cavity in the cavities to act as almost like the true balls yeah and from 42 yards, the two 525s were about that far apart. My wife's up there if you hear something in the background. It's fine, though. Scared Tyler. He jerked. <laughs> I've got earplugs in seal. I couldn't hear her. This is loud. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Cue outro.